A new scandal rocking the college admissions world. According to the Wall Street Journal, wealthy parents are trying to game the admissions system by legally forfeiting custody of their children in order to gain access to need-based financial aid benefits. This is what it's come to? Right? You like disown the kids because you want money? This allows their kids to get thousands of dollars in scholarship money that they previously weren't qualified for, all while taking the benefits away from the kids who actually need the money. To make things worse, all of this is totally 1,000% legal. So why are people just constantly legal? Why are they constantly trying to game the system like this? Joining me right now to react, presidential historian Doug Weed. <laughs> <laughs> you I know, you. I guess the truth is like, you know, human nature, right? Like we're not the most altruistic bunch. Um, and so if you create these loopholes, people take them. I mean, kind of sad to say, because what, they're disowning their kids at 18? Well, but they can hire lawyers to tell them how to do it. Remember, Leona Helmsley said, only little people pay taxes. Well, I'm a little people. I pay taxes. I had to put five kids through university, college, had to pay full tuition, had to send a son through law school, a daughter through one year of law school. I'm a little people. We have to pay for our kids' tuition. I, I just saw that Joe Biden got a big advance on a book. So did I. But he doesn't pay any taxes. Give me his lawyer. I can't afford his lawyer. <laughs> yeah, it that's what's messed me up. crazy. It's what's messed up, right? Um, you know, it, it, this is an argument, by the way, that's made by the likes of Warren Buffett. You know, Warren Buffett says, you know, it's not fair that my secretary pays all this in taxes and I don't. Although, uh, you know, the flip side of that is, you know, Warren, you could certainly donate some money. Right? <laughs> you could certainly up your, And that's a whole separate thing and I won't get into because your eyes will glaze over. But that's the private equity tax hole loophole, right, that these fat cats get away with paying less um, because they, they count their income as investment, which they shouldn't. But I, I digress. Back to these college kids and their parents um, that are just saying, OK, let's find a workaround. I mean, isn't that part of the whole problem with academia anyway? And, and all these limousine liberals, right, that just kind of think they live by a different set of rules. Yes, it is. It is. And, and I can't resist saying wonderful Bill Gates. We love him. And and Buffett, we, we love them, and they donate all this money. But, you know, they don't donate it to the federal government, as you said. <laughs> they, they set right? up their own nonprofits because they don't trust the federal government any more than we do. Yeah. But you're right. I think part of the story here is people game the system with academia because they feel that academia is corrupt and they feel free to cheat academia. You've got Harvard sitting on $38 billion of endowment money, paying Elizabeth Warren $350,000 apparently to teach one class there while she's out trying to promote free tuition for students to help keep the bandwagon rolling. It's just kind of uh, yucky. And yeah. I think people are tired of it. And some of these rich people are thinking, hey, you know, uh, uh, they don't trust academics. They think it's corrupt. They favor certain categories. Uh, Asians are blocked now into Harvard. So they may feel justified in cheating. Perhaps that's part of what's going on. Well, it's all yucky. That's for sure. <laughs> Good word choice. Doug, thank you so much. That and stiff tonight, right? Thanks, all right, next, a new study that says nearly half of millennials still receive financial